Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. So Polkadot starts to look potentially interesting as well. It is a little bit too early to really confirm it. It is not very reliable yet because it is so early after we've made that low here on the 13th of October. But finally, we do see some movement and then, you know, we actually see some impulsive movement and that is what is important. And also we've now hit the target area that I gave you in the last Polkadot video. Therefore, it's time for an update to take a look at what we're doing here. So in the last video, I told you that we could at the moment at least consider that a low was in here, maybe the bear market low at 565, that we then moved up in an impulse in a wave one, came down in a wave two. We can count this as a wave three and we can count this currently as a wave four. Yeah, and there would be one more leg up in a wave five. So one more leg up needed. What we don't actually need it. And that's what this video is about. Let me explain that to you. So whenever we are in a state of, let's say, trend reversal, this is the most difficult time for an analyst to um, yeah, analyze anything because a trend reversal implies that the trend isn't really established yet. Yeah, a trend might shift. And it depends on if the bulls are successful or not in this case, yeah. And we don't really know that yet, but there are some promising signs. And at the moment, I think it's just important for anybody who's in the space, it's important to understand that there are some charts which are already, let's say, fairly advanced back in an uptrend. Um, like we've got Quant, we've got Ethereum, um, Matic, yeah, for example. And there are others that are only just now starting potentially. For example, Ida. Uh, Ada. Yeah, um, and Polkadot. So Polkadot, this is, all, all we're seeing here is a five wave move since the low. Now this could be bullish, but it's not confirmed yet. It, real, it really will only be confirmed if we hold after five waves up, the three waves down. So if we hold this wave two correction and then break back above the wave one. That of course doesn't mean you have to wait until you go long. You know, that's entirely up to you. You can buy in support, you can buy trade the breakout, that is your own strategy, right? Well, I can only really give you here the technical analysis and give you the areas where I believe the price will reverse and the areas where I believe we get into. And this has been fulfilled. So we've got, we've now touched this area. Doesn't really seem over yet. But let's take a look at because at this because I have to make some changes to the chart, nothing ma major, but it has developed a little bit further since the last video. So let me take you through the first scenario, which is actually on the screen right here. So that's the first scenario, but I have to change. That's a small change I need to make. Just need to extend that out a bit. So the view is here in this first scenario that this is a wave one, this was a wave two. We've seen a wave three to the upside and we've now come into the target area for the fourth wave, which means as per this wave count, we would need to see one more leg up to really confirm a five wave move. And that is my preferred scenario because this is a much clearer pattern than the other one I'm going to show you. Cause here we have, a, we will get a nice five wave move to the upside. Um, obviously we small within that third wave here, we've seen a small wave one, two, three, four, and here a wave five that topped here at 683. And we're now coming down in the wave four area. I have to change that slightly as well based on the latest movements, because this has extended up a little bit and a wave four retracement would normally land in the region between the 23.6% retracement and the 50% retracement. So that means the uh, we've already come below the 23.6% FIB. So the next key support will be the $6.41 level at the 38.2 retracement. Should we go below that, we need to hold 6.28. That's the 50% retracement. Anything below that would make me switch to the other scenario that I'm going to show you as well, which is also possible. My view is a little bit less likely because it is just not the ideal wave pattern that I would like to see, but I can't rule it out. So the other scenario is that my assumption from the last video was actually correct that the wave five was already in here at this spike at $6.78. This marked the wave four high. We moved then down in the wave four, already completed wave four here at the low at around 652. 
and this was already the fifth wave high at 683. Now this is not an ideal wave pattern. We would then have to assume wave one is already in and we are now coming down in wave two, which would also not, which wouldn't be bearish. It would just mean that we have already come, we've already finished the five wave move and we're now coming down in the wave two. And we would then in this scenario actually get most likely into the region between the 624 level and 591, between the 50% Fibonacci retracement and the 78.6 retracement, and then move up from there. Yeah. So in both scenarios, I do short term expect a little bit more downside. Um, my primary expectation is the one that I have on the screen now, that this is wave four, because also here in this scenario where we are now in the wave four, as I showed you, we are expecting the 38.2% uh, retracement at least now that we have broken below 23.6. It makes sense then to reach the 38.2 retracement. Also, this scenario would give me a nicer wave four and it would just be the clearer pattern. Of course, what I want to see and what the market does in the end are two different things. I like to see ideal wave patterns and that's what I'm looking for. And therefore, I'm telling you that for me, it's more likely to see this pattern here play out, which means there should be one more leg up in a fifth wave before we come down in wave two. But yeah, it's still, it's starting to look promising. We, you know, if we look at the other pattern that I just told you, we actually have five waves up already. So it's a possible impulse. So the retracement now will, that's happening now, yeah, will tell us a lot about the ongoing movement, but it could really be that Polkadot has flipped back into something more bullish, um, but it's not really confirmed yet, but it's starting to look interesting. If we move higher here in the fifth wave, what would be a target? So let's, we have to make some assumptions for that because we haven't really bottomed yet in wave four. So let's say we come down to the 38.2% retracement, which is at 650, uh, 642, then we can calculate a target for the fifth wave in that we take the length of the wave one, I add it to the 642 level, yeah, and then we get the first target that would be the $7.05 level. That's the one to one ratio. And the second target is the 1.618 extension at 744. Okay, and that's my update about Polkadot. So I hope you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.